Did you do it? It's 11.39 p.m. on July 18th, 2018. We're at the collegedupage.edu website looking at the GOES East satellite. And right now, I'm in the global sector on full disk. And I've got it set on natural color and 200 frames. I'm just letting it cycle through. I was hoping you'd pay attention to the glint of the sun. Watch where it enters the view. Crosses the top of South America. Seems to kind of parallel the Pacific uh, coast. Enters the view. Top of South America. And it seems to go this way. It seems kind of funny. So let's go up here and look at the uh, northern hemisphere view of that uh, sun. Taking into consideration the curvature of the earth, you know, you got it in this egg shaped. Uh, view we got it just looks strange to me all right now i'm gonna stop that i'm gonna hit the square button stop it now i'm in control i'm gonna drag the slider bar back and forth now watch where the sun and this sun enters the view well see we got the glint of the sun between greenland and this coast at 0515 a.m. Now it's noon over at Singapore and Shanghai over there somewhere Thailand Perth Australia and that's where we got the glint of the Sun at noon over there 0515 UTC it seems to just kind of come down in the nor northern latitudes it seems like it's raising over here coming up over there you got a bunch of pink pink colors going on Seems like there's another light source going to join up with it in, in the uh, east there. And as they meet, almost, they go across the top of South America. And they seem to parallel the coast of uh, California and go up to Alaska. Look at that. It just seemed odd, so went back to, uh, no, I went to sub-regional sector. And I happened to go up to the Hudson Bay area. And now I'm at the uh, Northern Ontario natural color imagery. I'm gonna, this is what I'm going to look at. I'm looking at the shadows, okay? Now this happens to be July 17th. I want you to notice what the shadows and, and where the light must be in order for the shadows to come from. Okay, wait a minute. I'm going to get rid of the longitude latitude. Okay, now you see the shadows coming down from this direction. Now that's that's sunset actually. Now I'm gonna take you to sunrise. That's clearly northeast of Hudson Bay by a long shot. See those shadows? Now I'm gonna go to the next morning. Sun's coming up. Look at the shadows. The sun is coming up northeast of that. Look. Look at the shadows. And I'm sorry, it's setting. It's actually setting to the northwest. See the northwest? And it's rising to the northeast of Hudson Bay. Here's something else I want you to look at. These light blue clouds just over the surface of the water. They don't seem to move much, but they are moving. Wonder, uh, wonder how warm Hudson Bay is. Well, it looks like it's about 86 degrees Fahrenheit. That's, uh, I wonder if that's normal. But I'm going to take you over to NT Microphysics. No, okay, I'm sorry. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to another location here. I'm going to show you something a little bit different. Okay, we are going to go to the uh, S Southern Saskatchewan and Manitoba uh sub-regional sector and I want you to pay attention to this area right in here okay I'm assuming their wildfire starting check it out but I don't see any lightning that might cause them I don't see any system that might have caused them so let's go into NT microphysics because I saw a good view of those there Okay, what's that sparking going on over there? I'm 
Look at all those chemtrails, people. That's just phenomenal. I'm gonna go to uh, something a little bit different. Uh, I think this is it. This is NT Microphysics. And what I'm trying to show you is up in this area here, there's a lot of this sparking going on. It's almost like, looks like they're trying to start the fires with uh, some kind of a device. I mean, if I had a harp machine and a satellite, I might try to start fires from a satellite. But if you notice, huh? Take it on natural color. Seems like it's different than the last time I showed you. Or the last time I looked at it. Come on, boys. See those natural fire those fires, see? Alright, I'm gonna change it over to NT Microphysics and see if we can see the uh, the sparking action. Right before the fires get going. See the sparking? Sparking. Now we got the fire starting. Huh. Isn't that something? It's almost like they're using something from space to just play and try to start fires. Because that's all water up there. It's not all swampland. That means a lot of water up there. I'm just going to let that play through. Once you see all the chemtrail activity that goes on up there too. All the uh, NT microphysics shows the chemtrail activity really good. Look at all that. Oh my gosh. That's not clouds, folks. But look at the uh, sparking and then the fires. See them? Looks like hot spots already, I don't know. Sparking. I'm trying to light the match. Harp device. Let's go to natural color. Try to associate that with some clouds. Well, there's no clouds yet. There's no storms. Nothing, that's natural color. There, see, look at that. Fires just start up magically on their own, folks. There's a little, there's a little uh, question mark up here. If you click on that, it'll tell you about natural color. It's somewhat of a misnomer with uh, this product. In this case, the RGB composite is created with a combination of A, B, I bands one, three, and five. But anyway, that'll tell you what natural color is. But uh, see, the main thing about uh, this video was the shadows and the glint of the sun. And the sun must be rising in the northeast and setting in the northwest. Let's go back to global for a minute. Oh, let's go to let's go to northern hemisphere. This is natural color, and I am picking up in the in the uh, northern sectors. Uh, what do they call that? Stray light. Okay, but look at the glint of the sun in between Greenland and uh, the coast of what is that up there? Who knows? But keep in mind, it's noon over there in Thailand, Singapore. Shanghai, I guess, somewhere in there. But the glint of the sun is there. Pretty cool, folks. The glint of the sun just kind of follows the Pacific coast. It's almost like it's orbiting, or one light source is orbiting the uh, 